It's one of the most watched and loved crime shows of all time, and one of its favorite stars is set to return to Law & Order SVU tonight for the first time in six years. Take a look. We put abusers in prison. What about the ones we couldn't? You can't break the law, Alex. Why the hell not? Because it makes you a criminal. Alex Cabot, a.k.a. Stephanie March is here. Thanks so much for being with us. You. you posted a picture on Instagram hugging your co-star and friend Mariska Hargitay. People absolutely went nuts. It almost <laughs> broke the internet. And I understand she's the one that, that roped you back into all this. She is. She is. She's, so, she's a wonderful person and she's a great friend. And she texted me, I don't know, it must have been pretty late at night a couple months ago. And she said, do you want to come back to the show? And I thought, sure. I hadn't read the script, I didn't, but the opportunity to work with her, and she's so great. So I said yes, and then uh, and then my agent said, you know, you should you should read that script. And I thought, okay, well, first let's just let's just get there, and then I'll do it. And it was fun. The last time that fan saw your character, you were off to Africa, which was actually sort of like life imitating art because that's where you got to spend your honeymoon with your new husband, tech right. investor Dan Benton. Tell me how Newlywood life's been for you. It's been really, really wonderful. I mean, it's it started in such a beautiful place, such a great part of the world, and it's it's been fun. We. I, you know, it's a, it's a whole new chapter. It's great. I heard a rumor that at your wedding, you walked down the aisle to the Star Wars theme. <laughs> we did. <laughs> did we you both, really? We both love Star Wars. We're kind of nerding out that way. And so we were trying to figure out what to do. And somebody said, oh, Brahms. And somebody said Beethoven. And I was like, well, what about, what about Star Wars? And so my best friend was playing the piano, and she was kind of annoyed. She said, you know, I came with all this Mozart. Now I have to learn Star Wars. <laughs> and she did, though. She did a great job. We here at Daily Mail TV, we get on uh, this social media, Instagram, uh -huh. and we we checked out a floating cat house. Oh. Tell me about your cat, because I've cat? never seen anything like Taco Cat. The love of my like life, Taco, Taco cat? cat. Yeah. He's enormous. Um, yeah, I just took him to the vet, and he weighs about 25 pounds, and then they told me, you know, he's in a little bit of a growth spurt, so just just hold tight. And I thought, oh my God, that's, look, like, look, he's 40 like, inches. Yeah, that. he's 40 inches from, from end to end. How did he get his name? Uh, I like it because it's a palindrome, so it's spelled the same way, backwards and forwards. And I like tacos, so. We're talking about cats. Yours looks like a tiger. Your character was always a tiger and a fighter in the courtroom. So when we're watching this episode, mm -hmm. what can we expect to see? Well, what I like about this episode is that, you know, Cabot has been, she's changed a little bit. I mean, she's still the same uh, lover of the law, but a lot has happened to her. And so her approach to justice is a little bit more in the vigilante lane mm. than it used to be. And that is great because it allowed me some time to really spar with Mariska. And, and most of our scenes before we haven't done that. So it was it was fun. All right, your fans, they, they, they're, they got their fingers crossed. Is there any chance permanent return to the show? I have a lot of wonderful things in the works, but I would be very open to being more a part of the show. Yeah, you've got so much great stuff going on. Talk to me about that a little bit. I know you do a lot of work with philanthropy. I do. I do a lot of work with Planned Parenthood, and I do a lot of work with an organization called World of Children. And uh, my partner, Rebecca Perkins, who's here actually, she was the head of the makeup department on SVU, and we opened a store called Rouge. So we do makeup, and we have our own makeup line. So that's been it's been a lot of work, and it's been great. Congratulations. Did, Thank you. Now, did you both know that was something you were going to do? Were you just talking in it's the makeup room? It's just a part room? of the SVU family, and that's exactly how it started. It really? started in the makeup room, and then Rebecca left, and she had children and she came back to me and she said, do you want to really do this thing we've been talking about? And we said, yes. So that's been the last four years of our life and that's been terrific. Well, listen, I really I know, enjoyed it. I know you are so, so busy. I want to thank you so much thank for coming on the show with us. Say hi to Taco Cat. I absolutely I'm will. a huge fan. I'm, Instagram page yet for Taco Cat? Oh, at the real Taco Cat. Oh, write that down, write that down and, mm -hmm. and I'm following. All right, of course, you can catch her on Law & Order SVU tonight on NBC at 9 p.m.